Our next requested theory. Well, let's just skip this. DDD is one of the four heroes of yore. Let's just say it right here. Get it out of the way first. DDD is one of the four heroes of yore. I genuinely believe this. This is not just an idea of mine. I this is like I accept this as canon. So first of all, who are the four heroes of yore? The four heroes of yore are the are the four people that oh frick sealed away void termina in Kirby Star Allies with the four heart spears. One of them was revealed to be Galactonite, which honestly that wasn't even much of a surprise. By the way, theory of him in the further future. Um, so, there is just so much to say that Diddy is one of the heroes of yore. For, a lot of this information comes from a comment that I don't, I don't know whose comment it was, sorry. Wait, can I, I don't know who commented it, but for, the first thing they wanted to say is that Diddy's skin is blue. This is not something that like straight confirms oh my gosh ddd's skin is blue this changes everything um but highness's skin is also blue and they brought up something interesting and now i can't stop thinking about it after they bring it up we've what is under ddd's hat could he have ears that are similar to highness's who knows second thing second this one's obvious. He's a king. Why is he a king? It always says that it's a, he's a self-proclaimed king. And people just allowed him to do that? It was just something that was allowed? I mean, if he was like an ancient famous hero slash just someone who was really powerful, it would make a whole lot more sense why he could just become king casually. Now let's talk about how many ties to like ancient evils he has. He has sealed away a nightmare. He has sealed away Dark Nebula. Two, well, Dark Nebula may not seem threatening in battle, but Dark Nebula is said to be the king of the underworld, which also relates to Morpho Knight in some strange way. So, Dark Nebula is a big deal, and is also a part of Dark Matter and whatnot. And Nightmare is the biggest deal, just in general. First, he was working with Nightmare. Um, refer to my other video. Why Kirby right back at you as canon. Because it is. And there's nothing you can say that makes it not canon. Um, so yeah. Oh, yeah. One thing I'd like to note is in some of the spin-off games, which there's no reason to not consider them canon, but they also don't hold any importance to the lore. Like... Like the pinball, block ball, all those. There's no reason for them to not be canon. Um, it, but actually there is. In Kirby's Pinball Land, Diddy has lightning powers, which is definitely something that no one expected. And, oh yeah, he also has a bazooka in one of them, but that's not important. <laughs> okay. Now, another really important thing. The masks. Mask DDD is one is really famous for not be only being one of the coolest bosses, but also having one of the best themes. But have you ever thought about the mask itself for a minute? The mask, um, and definitely is like interesting. Why he has just this weird looking mask, and it also looks really similar. Like, and also this mask, the waning crescent and waxing crescent masks. Really weird. It also brings Meta Knight into the equation. It also says that Meta Knight and DDD are sworn partners, and we already know that Meta Knight is definitely some crazy ancient and important person. It was also created by Nightmare. Um, but that's irrelevant for right now. These just bring up so many interesting questions, and also like, do they are they related to dark matter? Because they definitely have evil energy in them. But a lot of these were talked about in, in a Meteor's video that I was literally just hovering over a minute ago. Sort of. So yeah, there's just a lot of interesting things. And, wait, really important. The One of the four heroes of your being revealed in Kirby, in Super Kirby Clash, was super important to this. Because, guess what other four heroes exist in there? The Kirbys. 
and there is a st a sword hero, a beam mage, hammer lord, and Dr. Healmore. We already have a sword hero, or I guess a lance hero, who can, or, or a, what is that thing called? I don't care. It's a sword hero. Diddy would be the hammer lord, obviously. Now we can use this as a basis to figure out who the next two are. There's tons of mages in Kirby, so that one's never getting figured out. But I don't know a single healer character that off the top of my head in Kirby lore. But likelihood, it'll just be something completely different. Oh yeah, final thing. There are tons of DDD-related runes on Void Termina's body. Just on him. Now, there are runes of everything, even QB, of all things, which isn't even in Kirby, other than just cameos. But DDD shows up like three times with his hammer, his mask, his glove, and a bunch of other stuff. Maybe even his hat, I don't know. But DDD is definitely more than meets the eye. He's definitely more than just this funny guy and greedy and all that. Oh yeah, also he always gets targeted by evil monsters. He's constantly getting possessed and controlled and all that. Countless times. And let's not forget this important line. <laughs> I am a superstar warrior. Yes, it was here all along, guys. He is a superstar warrior. Wait, does that mean boom boom? He was one of no, that doesn't make any sense. As discussed in a, in the previous video, go watch it if you haven't. Um, Star Warriors is not a race; it is just a group that was assembled. Okay, I don't think I have any time left on this video, and I don't want it to cut off like the others. There's probably more information that I forgot, but like, if you still don't believe that DDD at least has significant importance in the ancients, then you're an idiot. It's it's just true. That doesn't confirm him as a hero of yore, but he's at least one of the ancients. Wait, never mind, I forgot about one thing. In Kirby Right Back At You, Kirby Right Back At You, can go watch my other video. Um, Dedede tries to fool all the Cappies that he found an ancient Dedede ancestor skeleton. And this much, not this much, because it's revealed that it was a fake and that there are Cappy ancestors which ruled over Dreamland and no Dedede's. Dedede has no race. He's a single character. Which is... I, the, my first thought is maybe it was one of Dedede's ancestors that was a hero of yore. But there are no Dedede ancestors. He is the ancient ancestor. I mean, who knows how old he is and how old he can live. Not like characters in Kirby can age. They, they're forever gonna be the same age. Speaking of, Meta Knight is like canologically, at least Kirby right back at you canologically, it's canon, now shut up, um, he's like 300 and something years old, so yeah, he's definitely at least an ancient, a very lore significant character, please, oh yeah, I keep forgetting, one more thing, the robot HRD3 and whatever the other one was called, both have D3 in their name, and one of them even looks like King Dedede. Now, the reason of this is actually because it used to be a King Dedede robot, but got repurposed and scrapped. But it still looks like him, even in the final version. And what about the other one? That one seems completely unrelated to him, but it's still called D3. Two robots that are definitely from the ancients. These things, really significant, but very overlooked. Okay, that marks the end of this theory. Make sure to like and subscribe. Seriously, subscribe. You, you need me to make more of these videos. You don't know it yet, but you need me to stay alive. If you don't get more of these delicious Kirby lore videos, you'll die on your own. Or something. Outro. Seriously, I have never used my intro or outro in a single video. Time to use it. I can't stop you. I can't not use it. Yeah, this is the intro. Wait, yeah, wrong one. This is
this is the outro. I hope you enjoyed watching this stupid show. Yeah, this is the outro. Ow! Ow! Outro! Yeah, this is the outro. Yeah, this is amazing. Yeah, this is the